Hey, it's Deborah, founder of The Voice for Fitness, and I have a two for one for you today. So it's definitely book review time. And I have two that are classics. They sit beside each other on my bookshelf. But I think when you think of one, oftentimes you think of the other because they're classics for business across all industries. So here they are. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And anymore, there are several versions out. So I wanted to get a revised, slightly updated version so that the language was something that I could identify with just a little bit more. So I don't know about you, but I'm one who, if I have to go through and I kind of have to sort out the language first in order to get the just and the point, it's, I don't have that, that much time and my attention really needs to go somewhere else for profit for my fitness business. So I chose a 21st century revision as far as versions that I bought, but I think any of them would be good depending on your aptitude and your focus and your ability to concentrate. This was not one I'll read over and over again. It was a classic. I'm glad I read it because for a lot of years I'd heard about it. I'd heard summaries about it, heard other people's comments, but I had not really sat down and read it cover to cover. Now that I have, I know the point. I understand the just of most of the messages, but it's one I'll reference, not one I'll read over and over again. The one I'll reach for again and again, annually. In fact, that as I was reading it, I thought, I need to read this again, cover to cover, as soon as I'm done, because it's that good. The lessons are that basic. It's everything I needed to know I learned in kindergarten. It's that kind of basic. It's how do you get along with people? How do you create rapport with people? How do you get people to like you? Meaning increasing your likability. And it is how to win friends and influence people. Dale Carnegie. So over 75 years in print and I've had it for a couple of years myself. It's the kind of book that I'd like my freshman in college to read annually who's going into business and whether or not he was going into business, no matter what he's going to do. This is a lesson in being a good person as well as being good at business. I think you'll like it. There are stories, there are anecdotes throughout that help you actually get through the information and really own it and see yourself and see images. So if you are a visual learner, if you learn only with your auditory skills, if you're more of a kinesthetic learner, there's an example and an illustration in here, I think for all of us. So those are my two reads for today. And if that was helpful, sounds good. And you know, it'll help you in business. If you're not already on the blog, click right here and I'll see you on the other side.